If you want to have the right to operate and to be a company that is around for a long time, you need to think of the next generation as well. Otherwise, what is your purpose really? We are on a mission with our customers to redefine naturals in the cosmetic industry. Rather than destroying the raw material, we are actually making it much better. Welcome to the world of AAK. For more than 140 years, we have been innovating and customizing value-adding solutions to drive industry change. And today, we are a world leader in the production of sustainably sourced plant-based oils. In this movie, we take you on a journey through our factory in Karlshamn, Sweden. A few of our experts will guide you along the way. They will explain the different stages and processes that the raw material goes through to obtain the optimal properties for applications within cosmetics and personal care. But first, let's meet our CEO, Johan Westman. AAK is a truly global company. We are fully focused on plant-based oils for food applications, for chocolate and confectioner, as well as skin care or personal care applications. We have some 140 years of experience working with these raw materials. AAK has production facilities around the globe. We are in Latin America, in US, Europe and Asia. We have some 25 sales offices and we reach 100 countries with our distribution channels and sales representatives around the world. We develop or improve the solutions, the products of our customers together with them based on our experience and our knowledge. Our customers are in the center of everything that we do. Our personal care department uses AAK technology to develop high-performance, natural-based emollients for the beauty industry. Our innovations deliver optimized functionality, stability and sensory appeal and open up new opportunities for cosmetic formulators. At AAK we have been working with customers in the cosmetic industry for 30 years. We need much longer stability for the cosmetic formulations, longer than, for example, food, because they are kept for much longer on the shelf in the stores, but also in the homes of the consumers. Our range of natural ingredients are specifically tailored to the needs of the cosmetic formulators. To really understand why our AAK personal care emollients offer superior benefits, let's go behind the scenes at the factory in Karlsham. The main purpose of refining an oil is to make an oil that is pure, it should be safe to use, it should have a long shelf life, and it should work in different applications. In personal care, all our ingredients are sustainably sourced from renewable botanicals. Today, we follow the processing of canola seeds into a functional ingredient. When the product arrives at AAK, we will take samples for analysis. Important aspects are oil content, moisture content, and that the seed delivery is free from contaminants. It's always important to know the quality of the raw material that you are handling. We need to check the quality as soon as the seeds arrive, and we will check the quality throughout the whole process. We unload the trucks, and we sieve the seeds and we store them in large silos. When it is time to process the seeds, they are transported to a roller mill. Here the seed shells are crushed to make the oil more accessible for pressing. We will now heat the seeds up to 100 degrees Celsius in a cooker. This will make the oil in the seeds less viscous. So in order to extract as much oil as possible, we will press the seeds under high pressure in a screw press. The solid residues that remain contain valuable proteins and have a high nutritional value, making a perfect base for animal feed, for example. Nothing will go to waste. We actually use 100% of the raw material, but we use it for different purposes. After pressing, we will receive the crude oil. The crude oil is a dark oil. It still contains some solid residues. It has a strong taste and a strong odor, and it won't last for very long. It has a poor shelf life. The oil is purified in a step-by-step -step process. The first stage is degumming. In degumming, we will remove all the water-soluble lecithins by separation. After that, we will continue with neutralization and bleaching. 
In neutralization and bleaching, we will remove most of the free fatty acids, some of the oxidation residues, and some of the color compounds. So the bleached oil will be much lighter than the crude oil. We have already removed some of the color compounds like chlorophyll and carotene. After bleaching, we will continue with deodorization. In deodorization, we will heat the oil and we will remove all the volatile substances, such as remaining residues of free fatty acids, oxidation residues and pigments. After deodorization, the oil will have significantly improved properties. Both the color and odor are neutralized. If we wouldn't refine the oil, we would have substantially shorter shelf life and we would have an oil with poor properties of odor and taste. It's also important to keep the natural occurring nutrients during the process. We achieve this by using lower temperatures and milder conditions. We call this the AAK soft processing philosophy. AAK has an extensive quality control program in place to test every step of the processing and ensure all specifications are met. We take samples for analysis from raw materials, components, additives and our finished products. Sustainability is key and built into everything we do. We aim to be the first choice for customers demanding value-adding solutions. Synthetics are still a standard in the industry today, but we are now seeing more and more customers requesting our help to become more sustainable. It's AK's identity really to work with vegetable oils and fats, and that is by definition a renewable raw material. If you do the processing right, you can certainly make ingredients that are as good as synthetic ones based on the natural raw materials. Once the refining process is complete, we start tailoring the oil specifically for applications within personal care. This is done by physical and chemical processes. Some oils are very unstable when we get them out from the refining and then we need to increase their oxidation stability. We can do that by, for example, hydrogenation, where we remove double bonds one by one to make the oil more saturated. The consequence of that is that we also make it more high melting. We also have the possibility to change the melting profile of the ingredients by a process called interesterification. In this case, we don't change the fatty acid composition, but uh, we change their position on the triglyceride molecules. This means that we can make products that are more stable at high temperatures, which also have a different sensory profile, different skin feel, and different applicabilities in the formulations. Finally, when we have done these two steps, we can use the components for fractionation. And in fractionation, we can separate solid parts from the liquid parts. We do this by subjecting the oils to different temperatures so that the solids solidify and the liquid remains in the liquid state. And then we separate them. The processes we are using are designed to make better use of the natural components in the raw material. For example, the fractionation techniques we use makes it possible to increase the level of the bioactive vitamin E and the phytosterols that we find in the raw materials. In this case, rather than destroying the raw material, we are actually making it much better. Now the oil is ready for use in cosmetic applications. And in the personal care laboratory, our formulators continue experimenting. Let's meet Emily Gronsteval again and see what she's up to. Today I'm formulating a low energy processed emulsion with our natural emollients, which can be used as a body lotion or any similar formulation. As an ingredient company, it's extremely important to have knowledge about how our ingredients behave more hands-on and also how they behave in cosmetic formulations. Choosing the right ingredients are essential when moving from synthetics to natural. Our ingredients are easy to work with as they have been optimized for the cosmetics industry in terms of stability and performance and sensory properties. They are also stable in the formulations. We develop formulations to inspire our customers and also to demonstrate the technical aspects of our ingredients. I can show that the ingredients really work by using them hands-on in the lab and formulating recipes that are equivalent to the ones used by our customers. It's extremely important to follow the trends and making sure that we stay up to date 
and to make sure that we develop the products that are needed in the personal care market today. All our emollients are designed to meet exacting industry standards and deliver superior functionality, stability and sensory properties. And safety is guaranteed every step of the way. From sourcing and shipping to processing and production and end use in formulations. We have a program running since 15 years where we regularly control known contaminants such as pesticides, such as residues from the farming operations, etc. We are making sure that the processes that we are running efficiently removes all the impurities. There are many different certification bodies governing natural cosmetics and we aim to ensure our emollients are compliant with international standards. As a global manufacturer working with world leaders in the cosmetics industry, our products need to comply with several different regulations. We need to follow the regulatory space for chemicals, such as the REACH regulations in Europe. We also have the Chinese uh, regulations for chemicals and we have the American US uh, regulations for chemicals personal care products, it's something that many people indulge in, many people are kind of treating themselves with and it's really good to give these people a product um, that they can be very confident about that while they are enjoying something they are not harming the planet or any person that has been involved in producing this raw material. Um, so basically giving peace of mind, trust and a really good feeling when you're using this, this end product. I think with the position AK has, we should have a leadership position in sustainability. Sustainability means something different uh, depending on what raw material you're working with. And I think that's really important to highlight because we need to define what sustainability means for each of them to make sure that our way of working towards a sustainable raw material really fits the supply chain because they are our bread and butter really. Without them, we will not be able to process anything. If we don't take care of our raw material supply chains, that means that maybe in the future we will not be able to do business in the same way that we do it now. So it's basically sustainability is investing in the future. We see an interest in where the raw material is coming from, the environmental impact, but also the impact it has on the skin. At AAK Personal Care, we push the boundaries of possibilities. Our sustainably sourced, technologically advanced emollients enable our customers to develop more natural beauty formulations that do not compromise on performance. We work together to redefine natural. Redefining natural is about changing the perception we have of naturals. Through our technologies, we can take raw materials and create ingredients for the cosmetic industry that are applicable for the formulations. We enjoy working closely with our customers and understanding their needs on this journey. In the future, I think we'll see more and more natural formulations in the cosmetic industry. We are building on our pioneering history to develop a sustainable future. Join us in creating the next chapter of our story. It's really great to be part of the movement to support customers to become more sustainable. It's challenging, but it's so much fun. I think it's a privilege to be able to participate and to contribute to these kind of um, questions. And um, if we do our job well, then we can really cause some positive change. And um, well, I think that's a good reason to go to work every day. <laughs>